The word of God is evidence. Can I see this really? Excuse me, don't touch me or you go to jail. <laughs> no, bro. Hey. Don't I'm touch not, me. I'm not trying to be rude. Don't touch my property. You don't have to touch my property. You can talk to me. You can't put me on camera. Or I don't care. You're on a public property. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the most high God. Praise be the God who made the heavens and the earth. Praise be the Lord of hosts. The God of gods. The Lord of all the angels. To Him be the glory forever and ever. Jesus Christ is coming again. He is coming again to take his bride home, his bride, the church, the believers home. Are you one of those? Are you one of his? Or do you belong to the devil? You belong to Jesus or do you belong to the devil? That is the question. That is the question every one of us have to answer. You and I have to answer that today. Are you the son of the devil or are you, a son of, are you a son of God? Because anyone that is practicing immorality, anyone that is confusing children, minds, anyone that is twisting the truth in an unrighteous way, anyone that is saying a black is white, white is black, blue is yellow, anyone that is mixing light for darkness and including anyone that says that saying that a man can be a man a boy a, a girl and that a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man all those that mixes and twists the word of god the bible said that that the wrath of god will be poured out on them the wrath of god is being poured out on all unrighteousness of man those who suppress the truth in an unrighteous ways when they know who God is they do not honor him as God but instead they become futile in their thinking and as they continue to twist their mind and lie to themselves the Bible say God will give them over to their delusion so that they will believe that which is not true those who have dealing with unrighteousness so but well, there's a remedy for those for the wrath of God and the remedy is repentance so if you're that guy who likes to dress up like a woman and go and read to children and call yourself give yourself a female name if you're that guy, God is calling you today to repent. God is calling you today to change your ways and come to the righteousness of, of Christ Jesus. If you're that drag queen that confuses children's mind and try to make yourself into a role model for them, God is calling you to repent today. Because there is a day awaiting you, a day of judgment is called, that awaits you, anyone who thinks that they are doing the world a favor by dressing up anyhow, wearing 10 foot high heel shoes and wearing a 3 foot eye, fake eyelashes or vice versa, putting on a wig and painting themselves up and say that they are female, they are drag queen and they go and people bring their children and sit them on the bottom for them to be read to the Bible say repent for the kingdom of God is at hand God is coming and a wrath and he's going to judge all the workers of wickedness not just include drag queens 
but includes also liars and thieves and drug dealers and drug smokers. God is coming in a day of judge and on a judgment against those. And if you are someone who who brings your children to a man, a drag queen, a stripper in a gay club and have them read to your children gender bending books. The Bible said repent or God is going to judge you. Even though that child is your child, you say, well, this is my child. I can bring him to whoever I want to. I can introduce him to homosexuality. I can introduce him to drag queening. I can introduce him to transgenderism. It's my child. I'm trying, I'm telling you today, know this. It's not just your child. It's a child of God. Your children are given to you by God. And you must raise them up in a way that God wants you to raise them up. And that is in truth. And not confuse them and lie to them. If you reject to do that and consider yourself a reprobate to bring your children at the feet of these people, the Bible said you are going to be judged. So take a warning from that. Parents and those who call themselves parents or those who adopt children adopt children just for so, so they can convert them to homosexuality or they can convert them to gender bending ideologies i'm here to tell you god is going to judge you for that you are going to give account you are going to give account before god every one of us is going to give an account before god you me we are going to give an account before the Almighty God and we are going to speak we are going to give an account and say what we have done in a, in a body you and I today whether you are a liar whether you are a porn watcher whether you are drug addict, drug dealers you name it you are going to give an account whether you are the person who cheats on your spouse, you're going to give an account before God. Whether you are someone who's sleeping outside of marriage, jumping from one bed to another, you are going to give an account before the Almighty God. Because that is what is called fornication. It's sin of fornication. And God is going to judge everyone who is practicing wickedness because those things are wicked before God when God tells you not to live this way and you continue to live that way you are going to give an account before the Almighty God because life is not yours life is given to you by God God is the author of life and as the author of life he can tell you he has the right to tell you how to live your life no sane person will believe that God doesn't have the right to tell you how to live. Only insane people believe that. So my friend, we are calling you from, from, from insanity to sanity. We are calling you from sin to repentance. We are calling you from darkness to light. Because... Those who dwell in the darkness, as Jesus said, does not know what they are stumbling upon. Imagine living your life, your road is pitch black, pitch dark, you can't see a thing. And when you stumble on something, you turn around and come back the other way, you will stumble, you will stumble on that same object twice, many times. Because your you are living in darkness. Who? Who is that? Uh, who, are the, who are those people? people. Uh, I, I work with homeless people here all the time. Are you homeless? Mm -hmm. Huh? Could you just move farther because they're trying to sleep and they can't. 
And this is a public place. Or oh, the, the train wakes them up too? No, they're used to They that. sleep through the train? They're not used to it. Oh, they, but the train is louder than me. But they're not used to loud Or well, I'm going to talk. I'm preaching the gospel. Those people need, also need to hear the gospel. They're, Have you heard about Jesus Christ? They're trying to sleep. Have you heard about Jesus Christ? He can set you free. I was Christian for most of my life until I was abused at church. So oh, well, sure. so, well, who abused you? The pastor. Well, he that, then he's a creep. He needs to be punished and he needs to, he's going to give an account before God. But that's not God that did that. He's a creep that did that. So yeah. my aim, my word for you is to, is to forget about what people did who, whom you claim to be following God. But they are following Satan. Forget about what they did and follow what God did. So if your, if your friend commits a crime, should I hate you because of your friend committing a crime? You can keep preaching. Like, I'm not trying to stop you, but you just move other way. Cause I, uh, I'm, unfortunately, I'm sorry. I don't move. This is, I've been preaching here for years. They're so, so, so um, but my, my word to you is that, is that um, you, know, you need to know God. You need to know God. You stop living in a victimhood state. So my friends, I come before you today. I come before you today bearing good news. The good news of Jesus Christ. That all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That there is a day of judgment that is coming upon this world. A day when all those that are in the grave will hear the voice of God and those that hear it will rise up again from their grave and they will be standing before the judgment throne of God and they are going to be asked to give an account of their life of everything that they have done while in the flesh whether it is good or bad and before that day comes God will send his prophets and warn people before God does any judging he will send his prophets to come and warn you to repent to change your ways so he sends prophets in those days in this today he still sends prophets to warn people and today he also sends preachers to the street on the street not just in the church because he knows that many of you will not step your foot into a church but God still don't want to miss, miss you out because, you, because you, you don't come into church he, you don't have to come inside a church to be saved you don't have to say, uh, only come into the church to hear the gospel you can now hear the gospel on the street you can hear the gospel on your radio you can hear the good news on your phone even you can have Bible app today on your phone so instead of downloading music instead of downloading gangster rap and all these other music download the Bible instead and listen to the Bible for it's good for your soul so my friends here is the key God is calling every man and every woman everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day in which he will judge the whole world in righteousness but before by Jesus Christ <coughs> and he sent him forth into the world to redeem mankind and by giving his life in exchange for your life and my life you can now you have now an opportunity to come before God and 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 worship him in spirit and in truth jesus christ is is calling you today on the street corner on the street corner he's calling you today the bible said in the book of proverbs chapter 8 it says that wisdom cries out on the street corner wisdom wisdom cries out on the street corner and crying out to mankind and saying when will you simple minded people learn wisdom so my friend you and I every one of you today 
are being called, are being invited to the banquet of Christ. Everyone, Muslim, Hindus, Sikhs, everyone is being called to be to repent of their sins and turn to Jesus Christ. Every single one. You are not exempt whether you are Muslim, whether you are Hindu, whether you are Buddhist, whether you are Jew. Everyone is being called today to repent and turn to Jesus Christ because there is no other way you and I can be saved except through Jesus Christ. And because there is no other name given among men under heaven, given among men by which you can be saved except the name of the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. So my friend, turn to Him. Look to Him. Look to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Don't look to your politicians. Don't look to your, your, your news media. Don't look to your, your emotionally trapped um, celebrities. Don't look to your religion. Look to Jesus, the Son of God. For He is the only way to God. Look to Him, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Because that is the only way you can know peace with God. Are you looking for peace with God? If the, if the answer to the question is yes, I'm looking for peace to make peace with God. Jesus Christ is the only peace that you can have with God. Jesus Christ is your peace. The Bible says He is our peace. Him who made the two party into one. He is our peace. So my friends, if your life revolves around following uh, movie stars or following rap stars, following you are following the world. If your life revolves from one hit to another hit, from one puff of weed to another puff of weed, you are fooling yourselves. You are part of, the, of this world. As part of this world, you are part of things that makes God uh, hearts hurt. And you are part of those who contribute to poking fingers in the eyes of God. So my friend, how do we who have sinned against God and poke fingers in the eyes of God stop doing that? But we have to change our ways. God has offered you and I an avenue to be saved. And that avenue is He sent His only begotten Son to come down here to become flesh, take on flesh, to give His life in exchange for your life. So that anyone that believe in Him today will have everlasting life and they will not perish. That's what Jesus said. He's, Jesus made that promise. Jesus said, he that believe in me will no longer walk in darkness. No longer. Guess, get this. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you will no longer walk in darkness. But instead, you will have the light of life. You will have the light of life. Because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the light of life. He is the only one who can shine the light on you give you the light, show you the light, so that you can make it through. But if you're following the darkness, if you're following gurus, if you're following uh, so-called prophets that are no prophets, if you're following false prophets, you are fooling yourself. If you're following religion, you're fooling yourself. If you're following political parties, celebrities, you're fooling yourself. Jesus Christ is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only truth and the life and no man can come to God except through Him. So what I'm saying is trust in Jesus by humbling yourself through that you, through Him you will be saved. The Bible said to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and He Himself will lift you up. You want God to lift you up today, you have to humble yourself. You want God to save you today, you have to humble yourself. You want God to, to give you eternal life today, 
you have to humble yourself I believe in Jesus. under the mighty hand of God. You love God? Under the mighty hand of God. Do you love God? I love God. Can you go stand over there? Can you go stand over there? Yes, I can. Okay. Can we go separate ways? Yes. You Thank go you. that way. I appreciate I'll it. I'll stay here, okay? Thank you. Thank you. So, my friends, the Word of God is evident. The Word of God is evident. Can I see this really? Excuse me. Don't touch me or you go to jail. No, bro. Hey. Don't no, touch me. I'm not trying to be rude. Don't touch my property. You don't have to Is touch my camera? property. You can talk to me. You can't put me on camera. Though, I don't care. You're on a public property. Is it? Yes. You don't know the law. Go read the law. Okay. Uh, you're not. You're not exempt. Oh. Uh, do you? Do you want to commit? Are you looking? Are you looking to commit a crime or something? Yeah, I am. Because you, you, someone for some reason you're afraid. So my friend. Well, I, I thought you said you, a few minutes ago that you, were, you, believe, that you believe in Jesus. So you're lying to me. Yes, you're a liar. You know, you, know who, you know who else is called the father of lies? The devil. The devil is called the father of lies. Is that, does your mom not teach you how to tell the truth? Fuck, talk about my mom, please. You didn't, you, you didn't teach you how to tell the truth. My mom taught, taught me how to don't tell. Don't ever talk to my mom. I didn't? I'll call my mom again. Don't ever talk to my mom. Shit. My mom. I'll fuck you up on camera or not. Yeah. Keep selling drugs. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father except through Him. So my friends, stop selling drugs, stop smoking crack, and stop smoking everything that... That, uh, that, that the government is allowing you to smoke in order to keep you dozed away so that you don't know what they are doing. But turn to Jesus Christ for eternal life. Because everlasting life is found only in Jesus Christ. You cannot find it in any other. I don't care how many gurus you have. I don't care how many um, false prophets you have. I don't care what your religion and the age of your religion is. If you don't know God, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you don't know God. Period. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, the Son of God, you don't know God. You know, many people think, you know, they're brought up in a religion that say, you know, I respect all religion. You know, you cannot really respect all religion because they are not all the same. They're not all the same. You know, if you if you don't have the truth, if you don't have the truth, then you can say, well, I respect all true, all religion. But if you have the truth, you can tell that all, not all religion is the truth. You can tell that that religion cannot take you to the way of, of life. You will understand that only Jesus can take you there. Only Jesus is the way to eternal life. All other road leads to the lake of fire. And many people know it today as hellfire. All road leads away from God leads that place to that place. So the Bible said to flee, run away from the judgment to come. The Bible is calling you to flee. So run. Run away from the wrath of God. Run to the mercy of God. And the mercy of God comes through Jesus the Christ. He is the only one who can set you free. He is the only one who has died and rose again from the dead. No one has ever done that. No gurus, God bless you, no gurus have ever died and rose from the dead. No gurus have ever done that. No prophets have died and rose again from the dead but he who is the son of God he died and he rose again on the third day his name is Jesus the Christ his name is Jesus Yeshua the Messiah and if you repent today if you want to know him the way is open to you 
the way is open for you to know Jesus today. Before Jesus came, many people would not, do, not, do not know who, who He is. After Jesus came and died for the sins of the world, the road was open for anybody. Everyone, from every generation. Everyone can come today. They can come and be set free. If you're carrying a burden, if you're carrying depressions, all kinds of evil darkness over your, your, your life, Jesus can set you free. He can take all of those things away. He can give you eternal life. He can give you freedom. The freedom, true freedom, is found in Christ. True salvation is found in Christ. True peace is found in Christ. You cannot find it from United Nations. You cannot find it from United Nations keep, uh, peacekeeping troops. You cannot find it from, um, from pacts that, that nations make with one another. You cannot find it in treaties that nations signs with one another. That is not true peace. True peace comes from knowing God. True peace comes from knowing the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And no one can go to heaven if they don't know or come to Jesus, the Son of God. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. See, God has made a provision for us. God has made a way for you and I to come. He has made it easy. God has made it so easy for you to come to Him today. All you have to do is acknowledge that you are a sinner and humble yourself and come to Jesus Christ His Son. God has made it very, very easy for you and I to know and have a relationship with Him today. So if you want a true relationship with God, call on Jesus. If you want a true relationship with, 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 the, with God, call on Jesus, the Messiah. That is the only way you can have true peace with God. Jesus Christ is the peace of God. Jesus Christ is that way, that road, that narrow way by which you enter into heaven. That narrow way by which you enter into God's presence. So my friend, abandon all that you heard from your religions. Abandon all that you've heard from your gurus abandon all that you've heard from your books your holy books abandon all that you've heard from there come to Jesus Christ he is the only way the truth and the life and no man comes to the Father unless they come by him abandon all your gurus my friend abandon your temples rituals Abandon your, 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 your praying five times a day facing a, a geographical location. Abandon your praying three times a day facing a geographical location. Because as Jesus told the woman at the well, he said, you do not know what you worship. You do not know what you worship. If you don't know what you worship, why don't you come to the Father? Who can cleanse you from all unrighteousness? Who can teach you the way that you should walk? In the way which you should go. In the way that you should, the path that you should walk. Jesus Christ is that path to life. You know, there's a lot of people today in this world that think that they know better than God. You know, they watch some talking heads on the TV and tells them that there is no God and they walk around thinking that they are smart thinking that they know the truth thinking that there is no God but I, I'm, I have, a, I have, a, I have a, a word for you the Bible said a fool has said in his heart that there is no God yes a fool has said in his heart that there is no God only a fool said there is no God those who are wise know and know the truth know that there is a God and the Bible also said that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom people are today are lying through their teeth 
people today Hello. are lying through many media platforms. It all depends on what you are listening to. And those who don't believe in God will listen to the, to the atheists and they will follow the atheists. But I'm here to tell you something atheists. You have to explain to me how everything come to be. And many of you will not be able to do so. Because most atheists you ask about how did the universe come into existence. Their answer to you is science. How, 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 how did God made the heaven and the earth? Science. Who created the heaven and the earth? Science. That's their, that's their answer. I kid you not. Every time I ask people, why don't you believe in God? They say science. But what do you mean by that? A science doesn't tell you <laughs> whether there is God or not. Science don't tell you that. Science tells you whether, whether this physical object is here or not. It tells you what those components, what those rocks are made of. But it doesn't tell you how the rock was made or from which source that energy that makes that rock came from. It won't tell you that because that has to explain, that has to take you out of the realm of science. To know how God who created the whole world is not a scientific question. It's not a scientific question. It's a spiritual question. It can be called a philosophical question. So my friend, uh, many people today that think that science is the answer to everything. If you think that science is an answer to everything, I'm here to bust your bubble. That's not true. Science is not an answer to anything, everything on the earth. Science is only an ans ans only can only go so far. To answer the question of things that you can see with your eyes, touch with your fingers, put in a lab and test it in a lab. That is the only thing, the physical thing. When it comes to metaphysical things, science cannot answer those questions. Science can't answer the question of God. So if you want to be a fool, believing that there is no God, go ahead, be a fool. You have the right to be a fool. No one is going to bother you for being a fool. So if you want to be a fool and believe there is no God, go for it. Go for it. But as a person who loves their neighbor, I'm going to tell you that not believing in God is detrimental to your health, to your spiritual health and your physical health. Because as the Bible say, as a man thinks, so he is. However a man thinks, so he is. If your mind, your thinking is that there is no God, guess what your life will be? Guess the, guess the kind of person you will be. You'll be a person without a moral fiber in your being. And even though if you have moral, you have no foundation for that moral. You have no foundation how to explain that morality in you. Because all the atheists I've spoken to, I've already always arrived to that conclusion that they have no foundation to link their basis for morality. All the atheists I've spoken to, they know it's not wrong, it's wrong to kill, and atheists would would, would 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 believe that because they are tough. They know that from childhood that it's wrong. But an atheist will not tell you why, based on what. So my friend, that is what, what people today, and many of these people are in, in, your, in your universities, trying to create, recreate themselves into your children. But God is going to judge the atheists on the judgment day. When the atheists will rise up and he will stand before God, the atheist will give an account before him whom he has denied all his life. And then when God judges the atheist, the atheist, I'll see what he will say. Whether you tell him that he doesn't exist, 
he that judges you doesn't exist. So my friends, everyone, stop corrupting your ways. Stop corrupting your ways. Turn to the Savior. Turn to Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, He is the way, the truth, and the life. Turn from sin and turn to righteousness. Obey God and keep His commandments for this is the whole obligation of mankind. Obey God and keep His commandments. If you don't know the commandments of God, thou shalt not kill, steal, commit adultery, honor your father and your mother, have no other God but before me, do not make for yourself any graven images. Do not covet what your neighbors have. All of these things. Remember the, the Sabbath day and keep it holy. And many, many more of commandments that God gave. We ought to follow His commandments. And Jesus came here to fulfill all the things that, the, that God has stated in His law. And He gave us a new commandments. He gave us a new covenant, a new covenant upon, bought and paid for by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ. That same blood that can cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So change your ways, all of you. Change your ways. Turn to God in righteousness. Obey His ways. Learn His ways and be wise. But there is no hope if you don't know Jesus Christ. There's no hope for those who do not know the Son of God. There's no hope for those who pretend they know the Son of God, but they live like He doesn't exist. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by Him.